Hey, before you watch this gay little AI video, uh, let me let me preface this by saying the series started in early 2022 with the Duels of Fortune trilogy, and uh, I just want to say I don't support AI photos, art. I don't really want to call them art. Anyway, uh, any any use of AI storytelling or AI art or any of that for actual official genuine means over actual creation is bad. Obviously, and if you have not played Schwarz or Blitz <coughs> or anything else by Andrea, then you should probably do that before watching this. Okay, thanks. Bye. It's another late, late night in the streets of New Langdon. The city had faced many dangers in the past, but this night was seemingly another night of well-earned peace. Many years ago, a cataclysm known as the Schwarzer Blitz, the Black Lightning, came under the world. However, now, it is a time of peace. That's how it seemed, anyway. Johnson, a man infamous for not having a face, was closing his bar for the night, dragging out a drunken shark named Shiz from the bar. Johnson, come on, Shiz. I need to close up, Shiz. Heek I don't wanna go, Jonasy. Johnson, come on, now. As Johnson carried Shiz into a taxi, he got a call on the phone from an old friend, Agent Sambian. Sambian, Johnson. We have a problem. Johnson, what is it? Sambian, it's not just the usual terrorists and bandits that's plaguing the world right now. Johnson, what else is new? Sambian, it's Donner. He's back. Donner was an old friend of Johnson's. They could almost be considered brothers. However, he died years ago. Johnson, what? How? When? Sambian, Donner died in an explosion in the city of Boston in Massachusetts. Johnson, I don't believe you. Sambian, believe me. I saw him die. Sambian, but somehow, he's back. He's attacking everyone here. Johnson, how? Sambian, we don't know. Sambian, but it's a secret. Johnson, okay. All right. I'm on my way. Johnson drives his taxi to the local prison, she's running behind. The taxi arrives at the local prison. Sambian, come quick, now. The taxi pulls up to the entrance of the prison. Johnson gets out, dragging Shiz behind him. Johnson, where is it? Shiz, it's somewhere inside. Johnson, go on. The three of them walk into the prison. Inside, Donner is a floating shadowy figure, blasting guards left and right, and throwing them into the walls. Donner, go, my friends. Go and show the rest of these fools what they'll really be getting themselves into. Johnson, what? No, no, no. We have to get out of here. Shiz, there's no other way, man. Johnson was terrified. Donner shot a beam of lightning towards the guards. Johnson, and no. What the hell? Johnson, Shiz, and Shiz's shadow, Sambian, enter a room. Inside the room, there is a large, floating orb. Sambian, the reactor. Sambian, we have to shut it off. Johnson walks up to the reactor, and hits it with his fist. The orb begins to glow, and begins to get brighter and brighter. Sambian, quick. Shut it off. The reactor begins to get brighter and brighter, shooting out bolts of light. The light gets so bright that Johnson, Sambian, and Shiz are forced to put their hands up, their eyes beginning to burn. The orb begins to shake, as if it's trying to break open. Sambian, shut it off. Shut it off. The orb begins to crack, before it begins to break open. The lights go out, as a horrible, ear-splitting noise fills the air. After a few seconds, the noise begins to stop. The prison had been saved. Sambian, yes. The three of them rush over to the orb. Johnson, W what the hell was that? Sambian, I have no idea. But it worked. The three of them stare at the orb, a strange black light emanating from it. Sambian, you alright? Shiz, 
Yeah. I think so. Johnson, I remember this orb. From my backstory. Johnson looks at the orb. Suddenly, a voice fills the air. Voice, H-A-A-A. Ha 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 ha. I got you. Hey, hey, hey. The orb begins to get smaller. Sambian, what the hell? The orb begins to get bigger, faster, and larger than life. The three of them try to get away from it, but it is too late. The three of them are absorbed into the orb. Suddenly, the orb begins to crack, like a shell. The three of them are thrown out of the orb. When they awaken, they are in a new dimension. The dimension of nightmares. The three of them are in a dark, endless tunnel. They see a light at the end of the tunnel. Shiz, the hell is this place? Sambian, I don't know. Johnson, what the hell happened, Sambian? Sambian, I don't know. I was absorbed into the orb. Then I awoke. I don't know what happened. Johnson, yeah. Me neither. The three of them walk along the tunnel, staring at the darkness. Suddenly, it begins to get lighter. Sambian, what the? As the light grows brighter, the tunnel opens up. The three of them walk out into a new world. A world covered in lush, green fields. The sun is out, the sky is blue, and the air is clear. Johnson, Shiz, and Sambian stand in awe of the new world. Sambian, I remember this place. It's beautiful. Johnson, where are we? Sambian, somewhere on the earth, I think. Johnson, where exactly? Sambian, I don't know. Sambian, I remember coming here when I was a baby. Johnson, I remember coming here when I was a kid. Sambian, what's wrong, Johnson? Johnson, nothing. I'm just happy. Shiz, are you two in love? Sambian, yeah, I think so. To be continued. The ending song of this story is Happy by Pharrell Williams. Shiz, I hate this song. Johnson, yeah, me too. Shiz, so, what do you think? Johnson, I think we should go back to the beginning. Johnson entered the time machine. Shiz and Sambian followed. Back in the future, they stood in front of the machine. Shiz, this thing is creepy as hell. The future was a hellscape, the city destroyed. Shiz, I hope we're not going to get stuck here. The three of them walked into the machine. As they entered, a loud, electronic noise erupted from the machine. A man with a guitar walked out of the machine. He was dressed in a tattered, old, dirty robe. His long, dirty hair was tied in a ponytail. He walked over to the machine, staring at it. Donner, so this is your time machine, Johnson. Johnson, I don't know what you're talking about. Donner, you don't? Donner, I made this machine. Donner, me and a few other time travelers. Donner, we used it to go back in time. Donner, and make the world a better place. Donner, but the thing is, this machine doesn't travel through time. Donner, it just takes people back to the past. Johnson, so what does it look like? Donner, it's a big, red box. Donner, you step inside, and it whisks you away through time. Donner, it doesn't hurt, it's just. Donner, well, it feels like a ride. Donner, kind of. Donner, but it doesn't really move. Donner, you just sort of. Donner, float. Donner, well, float through time, anyway. Donner, I can show you the data. Donner picks up a laptop computer. Donner, to save the future, we need to destroy the three remaining memory orbs. Donner presses a few keys on the laptop. The screen shows a 3D image of the Earth. The orb is green, the other two are blue. The first is in Shiz's past. The second is in Cypher's. The final is in Donner's. Johnson, this is insane. Donner, you have a choice. Donner, you can destroy one of the orbs. Donner, but if you don't, 
the whole world will be destroyed. Shiz, let's just save the fucking planet, then. Yippee! Donner, alright. Donner, just hold out your hand, and the orbs will be destroyed. Shiz, I'm not stupid, Donner. How are we supposed to destroy these fucking things anyway? Donner, you have to face the memories those orbs bring. Donner, remember the pain, the fear, the sadness. Johnson, alright. Shiz, fine. Shiz holds out her hand. Johnson holds out his hand. The orb in Donner's hand begins to glow. Donner presses some more keys. The orb in Shiz's hand begins to glow as well. Then, the orb in Johnson's hand as well. The orb in Donner's hand begins to pulse. In a flash, the three enter the first memory. Sambiung is left behind, never to be seen again. Happy by Pharrell Williams plays in the background. The memories begin. It's a typical day in the city. People are going about their lives. A family is getting on a tram. This was Shiz's memory of Hawaii. Her father holds her mother's hand. The family gets off the tram. They walk down the sidewalk. A boy on a bike rides past them. Shiz, I remember this place. That's me as a child. The family walks through a park. Shiz's mother walks ahead of her father. The boy on the bike rides past them. He slows down as he passes by them. He looks at Shiz and her parents. He says, happy birthday. The boy on the bike gives Shiz a present. Shiz, I remember this too. It's a book. However, the book was actually a doll for Shiz. Shiz opened her present and cried. Her father hugged her. The family walks out of the park. Shiz and her parents got on a tram. That was when the volcano erupted. The tram was taking them back to the city. The tram stopped at the stop where Sambian was killed. Shiz and her father got off the tram. Johnson, is this where your parents died? Shiz, yes. Johnson. Shiz, I remember this too. Shiz and her father walk past the spot where the girl was killed. Some people gather around the tram stop. They are looking at something on the ground. It's a bloody piece of paper. The Mafia were trying to set off a massive explosion to take out the competition. The explosion caused a massive eruption. The lava flowed everywhere. Johnson, how long was it before this happened? Donner, about a year ago. Johnson, what do we need to do? Donner, we have to get back to the past. Donner, we can't destroy the memories. Donner, the destruction of the memories causes the memories to shatter. Shiz, fuck the memories. Shiz, I want to save my parents. Donner, then you need to go back to the past. Donner, we can't take the tram. Shiz runs off to fight the Mafia. Johnson, who's the other guy? Donner, he's a friend of mine. Donner, he'll be waiting at the past tram stop. Johnson, what's his name? Donner, his name is Neo. Johnson, alright. Donner, just get to the tram stop. Johnson runs off. Donner, I'll meet you at the tram stop. Neo is waiting at the tram stop. Neo is a cyber surgeon. Neo has a number of cyber implants. Neo, you're late. Donner, sorry. Donner, what do you need? Neo, a cyber surgeon. Donner, I can do it. Donner, what's the problem? Neo, we need to destroy the volcano. Neo, if we don't, the volcano will destroy the entire planet. Donner, okay. Donner, I'll destroy the volcano. Meanwhile, Shiz is fighting the Mafia. Shiz, come on, you cowards. Give me a reason to live, and I'll give you one. Shiz gets hit in the face with a gun. Shiz falls to the floor. Shiz, aaaa arg. Shiz is knocked out. The Mafia run away from Shiz. The volcano begins to erupt. Volcano, yo. 
The mafia die in the lava. The lava is hot. The lava begins to flow. Johnson, I don't want to die. Johnson, Donner, and Shiz enter a battle with the volcano. Shiz and Donner use their guns to shoot at the lava. The lava flies into space. Meanwhile, Neo arrives at the tram stop. Neo, you know, I thought you'd never get here. Neo, what about our mission? Shiz, mission? Shiz, who cares about that now? Shiz shoots at the lava. Shiz, come on. Hurry up. Neo, alright. At last, the lava stops flowing. The lava has taken out most of the city. However, the lava has caused damage to the tram stop. Shiz, Donner, and Neo approach the tram stop. Shiz's parents are waiting at the tram stop. Shiz's mother smiles. Her parents look at each other. They seem happy. They seem to be reliving that moment again. Suddenly, the first orb appears. The orb flies through the air and lands next to the tram stop. Neo takes out his hand laser. Neo fires a laser beam at the orb. The orb explodes. The ground shakes. The tram stop shakes. The tram stop falls down. Shiz and her parents fall to the ground. They are crushed by the falling tram stop. Shiz dies. Donner dies. Johnson and Neo escape to the time machine. They go back to 2015. They enter a hotel room window in 2015. Inside, two girlfriends, Cypher and Loyal, are watching the sunset. Cypher, wow. Cypher, isn't this the most beautiful sunset you've ever seen? Loyal, yup. Cypher, I wish we could stay here forever. Loyal, me too. Cypher, what do you think, guys? Johnson, forget about the sunset. Johnson, what do you think about this mission? Loyal, why does this mission always have to be so dangerous? Cypher, I know. Cypher, I don't know where the orb is. Loyal, I know. Loyal, it's somewhere in the past. Cypher, where? Loyal, the past. Cypher, the past? Loyal, yeah. Cypher, can't we just send a jetpack to the past and wipe this place off the map? Loyal, we can't. Loyal, the jetpack would go through the time bubble. Cypher, whoa. Cypher, Loyal, and Johnson enter the time machine. Cypher, oh, no. Cypher, the time machine is gone. Loyal, what? Cypher, it's gone. Neo, someone must have stolen it. Cypher, who would do that? Neo, the Mafia. Cypher, who cares about the Mafia? Loyal, I care about the Mafia. Loyal, do you know who the leader of the Mafia is? Cypher, I have a hunch. Cypher, he's called the Shark. Cypher, the Shark hates us cyborgs. Johnson, what a clown. Johnson, I hate him too. Cypher, me too. Cypher, all right. Cypher, let's get to work. The three search for the second orb. They find the second orb. It's sitting next to a statue of two lovers. The statue looks like it's made of marble. The statue looks like two clowns. Cypher, what a strange coincidence. Loyal, yeah. Cypher, okay. Cypher, let's destroy the statue. The statues come alive, and attack. The three of them fight. Loyal and Johnson fight with their fists. Cypher fights with his laser sword. The two cyborgs are equal in this fight. The clowns juggle balls. And use different kinds of guns. A laser gun, a machine gun, and even a flamethrower. The clowns are very strong. The three of them fight for a long time. Eventually, they reach a beach. The statues have destroyed most of the city. A sea of flaming debris covers the beach. A huge crater has formed in the ground. The three cyborgs see a temple in the distance. 
The statue looks like a giant Buddha. There's a golden dome on top of the temple. The dome looks like a giant UFO. Cypher, let's go. The three of them run towards the temple. The temple explodes. There's a bright light. The three of them fall into a deep sleep. When they awaken, they find the second orb. Cypher, Loyal, and Johnson approach the second orb. Neo approaches the third orb. The three of them enter the time machine. Neo travels to the past. They enter the final memory. The memories of Shiz, Donner, and Neo. The three of them approach the tram stop. Shiz's parents are waiting at the tram stop. They are happy to see their daughter again. However, their daughter wasn't their daughter. Shiz was transformed into a cyborg. The tram stop is about to arrive at the tram platform. The doors of the tram open. A tram is coming. Johnson, we need to stop the tram to destroy the final memory. Cypher, where is it coming from? The tram is coming from the left side. There are three doors on the tram. Neo, where's the door with the final memory? Shiz, it's like the trolley problem. The parents are happy to see their daughter again, but the tram will kill her. Neo, the tram will kill her. Shiz, the only option is to sacrifice one of us. Johnson, who? Shiz, me or you? Loyal, fine. Cypher, what? Shiz, alright. Shiz takes the keys from her pocket. Loyal jumps in front of the train. Loyal sacrifices herself to stop the train. Shiz closes her eyes. She dies in the arms of her parents. The tram slows down. The three of them enter the tram. The tram stops at the tram stop. Loyal and Shiz both die to stop the train. Their souls combine to become one. Their souls burn brightly. The tram doors open. Cypher, Donner, and Johnson approach the final memory. The three of them approach the tram. They enter the tram. The doors close. The tram departs. Neo enters the tram. Neo approaches the tram. The tram doors open. Neo enters the tram. The tram doors close. The tram enters the final station. The tram slows down. The tram stops. Neo approaches the final memory. Johnson, what happens when we destroy the final memory? Neo, the past, present, and future will be destroyed. Donner, but where will we go? Neo, we'll be erased from existence. Johnson, well, if it's for the good of New Langdon. Donner, yeah. Cypher, okay. Neo, alright. Neo enters the final memory. The final memory is a circus. I've been waiting for this. Donner, wow. Cypher, the clowns. Neo, the clowns. The three of them approach the circus. Inside is a hammerhead monster. They are the combined souls of the fallen. The monster attacks. The three cyborgs fight back. The battle lasts for hours. Cypher, it's been a long day. Johnson, I hate clowns. Cypher, me too. Cypher throws a knife at the clown. The clown is stabbed in the neck. The knife pierces his throat. The clown dies. The clown spits fire. The clown spits fire at the cyborgs. The two fighters spin and flip. One of them throws a pie at the other. The other clown hits the ground and laughs hysterically. The clown hits the ground and laughs hysterically at the cyborgs. The hammerhead shark forms the clowns into a giant hourglass. The cyborgs approach the hourglass. The cyborgs try to destroy the hourglass. The hourglass absorbs the attacks. The hourglass disappears. A portal opens up. Johnson enters the portal. Donner enters the portal. Cypher enters the portal. The portal closes.
The portal opens. Inside the portal is the shadow world. It is a dark and empty place. The portal closes. The portal opens. It is night. A light appears in the distance. They are approaching a large city. The city is being attacked by a giant clown. The clown is wearing a red, white, and blue suit. The clown is blowing a lot of confetti. The cyborgs approach the city. The clown's confetti is everywhere. Johnson, Cypher, Donner, and Neo need to find out how to defeat the Jester. The clown is getting very close to the city hall. There are a lot of confetti clouds around the clown. A lot of people are in the street. Johnson, how are we going to defeat it? Cypher, we need to find a way to stop it. Johnson, how? Cypher, I don't know. Johnson, I don't either. Donner, I don't know how we're going to stop it either. Neo, the only person who knows is. Neo sees a large billboard. The billboard is advertising a concert. The concert is full of demons controlling the monster. Neo, that's it. Neo runs to the billboard. Neo enters the code. The billboard lights up. Neo, okay. The billboard turns off. Johnson, let's go see the concert. Maybe they can help us defeat the monster. Donner, sure. Cypher, okay. To the concert. The three go to the concert. Hatsune Miku is on stage. She is a popular singer. The concert is full of people. The music is very loud. Donner, I think I feel the floor shaking. Cypher, yeah. From the crowd erupts a giant shark kaiju. The people are terrified. They run. The giant monster runs towards the city hall. It is close to the city hall. Neo runs up to the front of the stage. Hatsune Miku, what the hell is that? Neo, the monster that's destroying the city. Neo points at the screen. Neo says, look. The screen shows the monster's path. Neo, we need your help, Miku. Hatsune Miku, what do you mean? Neo, the monster is going to destroy the city. Hatsune Miku, how do I stop it? Johnson, we need you to sing. Hatsune Miku, what? Johnson, you can control it with your songs. Hatsune Miku, I don't know how to do that. Cypher kicks Hatsune Miku in the ass. Hatsune Miku, what did you do that for? Cypher, it's the only way to get your attention. Neo says, okay. Miku attempts to control the monster. The monster begins to dance. It twirls its body to the beat of the music. Neo, okay. Okay. I see what you're doing. Neo starts to hum a tune. While Neo and Miku dance, Johnson and Cypher begin to climb the monster. The monster dances to the music and twirls its body. Neo and Miku continue to dance. Miku attempts to sing into the microphone. Cypher, who is going to win the prize on the top of the monster? The audience cheers. Johnson, I think we did it. The four cyborgs enter the city hall. Johnson, we need to find the monster's brain. The city hall is inside the mouth of the monster. Cypher, there's no way we can go up there. To the top of the monster. The cyborgs look at the screen. Neo says, wait. Neo, I know who the culprit behind the monster is. Miku, who? Neo, his name is Shocker. Neo, he's a famous Japanese video game designer. Miku, okay. Miku, isn't he a lobster? Cypher, I don't know why I even came here. To the top of the monster. The cyborgs enter the roof of the monster. Johnson and Cypher find the final orb, you top the monster. The orb is a giant egg. Neo and Miku enter the egg. Neo says, I hope this works. The egg cracks open. A green light appears. The egg splits open. A small poodle with a large egg for a head appears. The poodle has a lot of hair. Miku destroys the egg. 
Miku, I hate you, shocker. Neo puts the poodle in a stasis device. Neo says, let's go. Johnson and Cypher return to the others, holding the orb. The poodle eats the orb. The orb disappears. The orb is in the monster's stomach. Neo and Miku enter the city hall. The orb is on the orb desk. Neo picks up the orb. Neo, okay. Now all we have to do is get the hell out of here. They go to the elevator. The group returns to the lobby of the hotel. However, Shocker the electric lobster blocks the exit. Shocker, you little cyborgs are going to pay for this. Shocker unleashes a blast of electricity from his antenna. Neo, Miku, and Cypher are fried. Only Johnson remains. A final standoff. The two decide to fight. Johnson is a veteran without a face. He doesn't fear death. He is prepared to die for his friends. Shocker is a video game villain. Johnson activates the black lightning. Shocker is fried. Johnson and Hatsune Miku are the only survivors. A new hero, and a new musical heroine, have risen to defeat evil. Shocker reverses time. Johnson's and Shocker's battle continues. The cyborgs fight in a dance-off. The cyborgs destroy each other. The story ends with the credits rolling. It is a beautiful ending to a fantastic story. It is a long, brutal, and bloody battle. Johnson and Shocker exchange blows. Johnson is nearly beaten to death. Shocker is nearly beaten to death. Neo and Mika fight in a battle of the sexes. It is a battle of dancing machines. Johnson, using the power of his friend's souls. Shocker, using the power of his video game design. The battle goes on. It ends. Shocker is dealt a mortal blow by Sambiung's spirit. Johnson's cyborg body falls to the ground. He is no more. Neo and Miku dance in his final resting place. Neo and Miku destroy the orb, as Johnson rises from the grave. Miku is crushed. Neo takes her hand. Neo and Miku dance. They dance until they die. Johnson returns to New Langdon. He remembers nothing. He remembers nothing of the battle. He remembers nothing of Neo and Miku. The end. It was a 36 time that he broke my heart. It was the 80th time that I'd fallen apart. I knew from the start it was gonna be rough, but not as painful as this. Once I didn't have money, twice I forgot his name. And I put all my makeup wrong. My hair was a big mess, and so was my dress. I remember those nights, I was feeling real down, but then a chance would soon come around. It was the 36th time. So, what do you think, Annabelle? It's pretty cool, right? Don't call me that, Rabbit. Sorry. I don't see the point in you showing me these worthless assortments of words and pictures. I wish you'd back off with the villain persona. It's safe here. I'm not being a villain, Rabbit. You're the villain. It was the boss orders, you know. But even still, I don't regret doing it. Dragging me out of my home and into this eternal cycling hellscape of nothingness. Why? Were you that desperate for a playmate? It's lonely here. All the people in the asylum usually just stick to themselves. Surprisingly, it gets quite dull in a place where time doesn't move. You may be a gaslighting jerk sometimes, but at least you're always a surprise to talk to. Are you coming on to me, Rabbit? I'm aromantic and asexual. I... Really? That's how you're letting that information be known? Hey, this post credit scene has to have some humor to it. 
This what, whatever. I'll find a way back home. No matter what you or your idiotic boss do to stop me. Oh, but wouldn't Dewey be sad? You're his favorite. I will bring the dog with me. Only he understands me. Ha. Huh. Well, I'm gonna grab more OJ before the next game. Want anything? Hey, rabbit. Yeah? Bring something real, next time, would you? These robotically generated farces get on my nerves. Oh, uh, sure. I think I know what I have in mind.